hello babes welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be on a valentine cookie that i want to share with you guys really quick i know i have already started this but for the sake of the video i'm just going to talk through the beginning of what i did if you guys are new to my channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you never miss an upload from me and if you're old to my channel thank you guys for tuning in back with me so um i have a recipe on how to create my vanilla cookie so if you're interested in that I will pop a video down below and or you can go through my channel and you can search for it. Um, I'm not going to pop it down below just yet because I'm in the middle of recording, but I will go back and do that. But you can search for my channel, Natasha Mitchell, and put in how to make um, um, sugar cookies and you'll get the dough, sugar cookie dough, and you'll see my videos for that. Now, I get my cookie cutters from cookiecutterpro.com. She is awesome. I love her cookie cutter. She designed whatever I'm looking for. I just show her a picture of something and she can design it. <clears throat> or I just tell her the idea and she'll design it as well. She also designs my uh, stencils as well to match my cookies as well. So I get a cookie cutter and then I get a stencil to match it. Because I do not have a projector, a Pico projector. So I pretty much use my stencils. And this is what the stencil that we're working with. This is what it looks like. This is a four inch cookie cutter that I'm using. Um... To pick this up in my hand, as you can see, it's pretty big. I don't work with smaller cookies because I hate decorating little tiny cookies, two inches and three inches. I just cannot do it. So all of my cookies that I ever do is always a four inch cookie. So to do this cookie, we pretty much just place it on top of your cookie like that. And you pretty much take your edible pin and you just trace it out. Once you trace your cookie out, then you can begin flooding your cookie with all of your colors that you're using. Today, we're using brown and red. And this is for 2020 Valentine's year. So I've already um, started. You want to let these areas that you see already outlined crust over before you start your next step. Um, that bear up here, this is what that looked like. Once that actually completely dries, we're going to go back in at the ears and put in the red in there. When it all dries, then we're going to actually put hug on the heart. And then we're going to do his, um, I'm actually going to just make this quick and easy by filling in the eyes <clears throat> with my edible pen. Just drawing it on there and calling it a night. Because I've been at work all day, been very busy all day and... Two, coming home, cooking, cleaning, kids, it, it's just a lot. So, I'm going to finish this part here so you can see what I did <clears throat> and how I feel. And to keep my cookie puffing, all I do is, I'm going to leave that middle part empty. But I'm going to go in and I flood the back of the ear first I don't put much on there because I just want to put enough on there to just <clears throat> round off the ear then once I do that because now it makes the cookie flat I'm oh, sorry you guys can't see me now it makes the cookie flat here once I'm rounding it and shaping it so to bring it back up to me <clears throat> to be um, puffier I just put little dollars on top of what I did so that it won't look flat and that pretty much does the trick for me So let me show you what I'm talking about. <clears throat> you see how you you may say that's not flat, but to me that's flat in person looking at it. So I just put a dollop on a spot. Sorry for the shaky cam camera. To puff it back up and then I just blend it in. 
Don't put much because you might make it overflow. <clears throat> you just want to put enough and just tap in it to mend in. That's it. So let's do the other ear. If you have any questions or comments below, please go ahead and put them down below. I will be sure to respond to them as always. Then for the heart for this one, we're going to use red and we're going to flood that. <clears throat> I'm not sick, you guys, so if you hear me clear my throat a lot, um, have you guys ever felt like there was something in your throat that keeps making you got to clear your throat? Well, that's exactly what I'm feeling like. <clears throat> the more what I keep drinking, it just feel like it's not... It's not helping. All right. So we got our ears done. Now, we're going to go in with our red. <clears throat> Make sure you cover your tops back up because you don't want it to dry out on you. So with the red, I'm just going to go follow my outline that I did. I'm not going to go all the way to the paw there because I'm going to drag that with my scribe too. Even by his head, I'm going to drag that with my scribe too. Or you can drag it closer like that with your squeeze bottle. And once I know I pretty much got what I wanted, I really don't keep following the design to outline because I'm I'm flooding it. There's no right or wrong way to really flood, okay? It's really not. And now I'm just going to take my scribe tool and start blend, um, smoothing everything out. I keep want to say blend. And I'm just going in circular motions creating this. <clears throat> I 
All right, that feels a little light. So we're just gonna puff it up right there. Since we already smoothed everything out there, we don't need to touch that area anymore. Now we're gonna come to this side and fix it. Drag your paw, your red to your paw. <clears throat> now once you got all your lines and things covered up covered up now we're gonna make it puffy again And we're going to smooth it in. <coughs> and this is how I love the Valentine Bear look. He is so cute. Although he don't have his face on yet. But he's still cute. Now we're gonna go to the white bear. Well, the white heart, not a white bear. <clears throat> this is the one in white. It really don't matter which way I'm gonna start with this. So I'm gonna fill in my heart. And with this one, I think I'm going to do something a little different. And I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with that. Once we fix and flood all of this. <clears throat> I'm going to leave this upside down because we get into the very bottom of that one. Be sure to wipe your scribe tool off from any previous icing because you're working with white now and you don't want that in your white. Be careful not to touch your brown because it will drag into your white. Wipe off in between drags.
Now we're just going to puff it up some in flat, flat areas. And smooth it out. So that's all I'm going to show you guys now on camera. And I hope you guys like this video. Please give this video a thumbs up and let's get this video to at least a thousand likes. And again, I thank you guys for tuning in with me. And you guys have a great one. Happy Valentine's.